Welcome back, everybody. Sorry about that. We are going to try attempt number two with a better video connection um, to talk to Juita. So once she get back gets back in here, um, we'll see if we can, you know, go back to her yard. Hopefully, we'll be able to have a good view. Um, hopefully, you all have been enjoying the views from her backyard. Um, I definitely wish that I had the space to hang up feeders. See if we can get the ball rolling again. Oh my goodness. Hey. I'm so <laughs> I'm so sorry if that was my connect. I was like talking for maybe like two minutes before I realized <laughs> nothing was happening. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're still having a little bit of, of technical difficulties. Um I think it was on both of our ends. I, I moved inside, so hopefully oh. that'll help a little bit. <laughs> um, the Mississippi kites were around. Hopefully they'll come back. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, I was going to say, because of the Mississippi kites being around, they actually, the norm, like my usual birds think that they're hawks that are going to eat them. Like for the, so they all scatter because they look like, hawks or raptors you know essentially um predators so we have to like wait a minute before they'll come back to the feeder whenever the mississippi kites so, go around so for those who don't know what do mississippi kites actually eat insects they'll also go after like frogs and lizards if they can find them i've actually seen a mississippi kite <laughs> go after an anole in my yard once and i was shocked like floored when i saw i was like is that a thing? <laughs> um, but yeah, insects. Wow. Were, and, and they'll catch them in air and eat them in the air. Like, okay. That is amazing. <laughs> Fine. The rest of us are just nothing. <laughs> we definitely need you to like set up a trail camera or something in your yard so that we can get this on, this action on camera. <laughs> I know. I need to like get it together. I need to have like a whole setup back there. <laughs> We we need somebody to fund you to like set up all these 
like things in your yard like we need you know this could be a, a whole professional research <laughs> I'm not a professional I need a professional to come over <laughs> Yeah, we, you know, any orgs out there want to fund us in starting a research project in <laughs> Juita's backyard, let us know. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Um, somebody asked if I've seen a predation attempt. Yes. A Cooper's hawk tried to take a cardinal fledgling, I believe. There's also a bunch of other birds around, but there is a video. I do have a video. I can repost it onto my stories, but I actually got a video of the juvenile Cooper's hawk. Um, I don't know who's a fishing, a fish crow. Fish. Can you guys hear that? Yes. Fish crow. Why do I have fish crows in my yard? I don't know. I literally live five minutes from downtown. So <laughs> there's no water nearby. There is something called a coulee, which is a man-made canal about like a block that way. Um, but I don't know that well, there's there you go. Be fish in it. <laughs> I see another question here in the chat. Um, I have a question. Are there bird feeders that say they specifically attract certain types of birds, but they're wrong, wrong, wrong? I would be careful with most things on Amazon. <laughs> Sometimes you have a seed feeder, but they'll put like a hummingbird photo next to the seed feeder. And you're like, no, <laughs> you're not going to get hummingbirds that way. Um, so a quick Google search will clear that right up. But usually like a platform feeder will get most birds to come on over. And then those tube feeders are usually specialized depending on how big the, the hole for the seeds are and how long the um, standing platform is. So the longer the standing platform, the bigger the bird can land on it basically. Um, mm -hmm. Let's, I think there's a well, bird now. I can see moving. Let's see. Oh, it's a white winged dove. I can show it again for those who have not seen. My hair is getting caught on all of these plants, by the way. Like all these plants. <laughs> Long hair, don't care. We love it. We have a blue jay and a white winged dove at the feeder. Um, oh, so I don't currently have. Oh, I'm so sorry. This happens all the time. Oh. <laughs> um, I currently don't have a platform feeder just because the doves are eating me at a house and home, y'all. So if you're not on a grad student budget, plat feeder, feeder all the way. <laughs> um, they, would, they would come in like packs of six. I should say flocks. Flocks of six. <laughs> and sometimes it'll be more than six and I'll just... We do have a mammalian friend. We have a squirrel, another white winged dove. I think, oh, there you go. You can see the white wing a lot clearer on the ground there. They're actually really good to have around because they'll pick up after any spillage that the other birds cause by doing this. And then we have the squirrel also clean up crew. Um, and this one is still trying. It's still trying to get on those tube feeders and those two feeders are actually too small for it usually to get onto, like I mentioned earlier. So if you're trying to keep doves away, two feeders. As I say that. That's look, really that. good to know, right? So, that, okay, that, that feeder that that um, white-winged dove just landed on is actually a squirrel buster feeder. It cannot feed out of that because it's too heavy. You can't see this, but um, the feeder has shut because it landed on it. So oh, it, okay flyway but I will say that feeder costs about $40 so protects your seeds from squirrels and larger birds but it does cost a little more money up front and I can I can actually get closer or I can do I do realize we're about to run out of time <laughs> but if you go on my stories I can do like a whole tutorial thing is that a thing yes <laughs> do it <laughs> we love it um but Yes, that was some really great information that you shared. I know when I had um, when I was living in a house and I had a feeder, the first feeder I ever bought was a platform feeder. And I would always get doves like morning doves. And they would just sit in the feeder and hog it from everybody else. 
but um, I was at one point able to set my phone up and record like and just do a regular video like pointing towards the the theater and so then I would I got like images of like song sparrows and um Carolina Wrens and mm-hmm. Dark Eyed Junkos at my theater and I was like this it was you know I'm like I can't afford a GoPro I can't you know have anything uh-huh. else but it's just like with this $15 feeder and you know $20 bag, dollar bag of bird feed like I'm literally recording birds in my backyard and it was just like I had the best time of my life <laughs> and you don't even need a backyard like my friend in San Francisco was like I am putting up a hummingbird feeder on my balcony. I was like, yes. <laughs> that was great. Nice. And I know um, Sheridan at Beanie Jean, um, she has a window feeder that she uses and it sticks to her window. And so she can, you know, doesn't even have a yard, but she, you know, has the, the birds coming to her window and eating seeds, which is really cool. I might have to try that one out. So. Is she like rigged it to where it can't fall off the window? Yes. So there are some some type of magical suction cups or some type of hook. We definitely need a tutorial from her as well. So yes. No. Belle's birding says there's a hummingbird feeder on her apartment balcony. I've had to take them down. It's too hot here. They need to be switched out today in the state of Louisiana. (laughs) So can't. Wow, that's some really good info to know. If you live in Louisiana, change your feeders every day. Yeah, any yeah. hot locations. So if you're in a very hot place. So what happens when you, is it just like the next, it's just nectar. It's like sugar water. It just kind of. It ferments. So when it mm. ferments, it can actually um, cause the hummingbirds to have things such as fungus growing on their tongues. And then when that happens, they can't retract their tongues back and they die by starvation, basically. So if you Uh don't have the time to actually upkeep um, hummingbird feeders or nectar feeders, uh, sorry, not nectar feeders, um, but jelly feeders as well. So if you have Orioles or Canaders, you can use a jelly feeder. um, It's better not to put them out. And since I'm in the field for a few days out of the week, I can't upkeep them during that time. So I just take them all down during the summer. They'll be back up in the fall. so based on the temperature, it should not be based on whether okay. you're cloudy or not, because it's still fermenting and it may not be cloudy. Mm, that's really good info to know. Um, thank you so much for sharing that. I see a few other people in the chat didn't know as well. Well, I will say, I know we're over time a little bit, um, but thank you so much for joining us today and sharing the birds in your backyard. Um, it's so awesome to just no I, we didn't even get to touch on photography I mean I had so many photography questions oh, yeah. um, oh, but, no. <laughs> but I mean it was it was so cool being able to see you know the birds I just see, I saw them fly away so I'm assuming something just flew in um back behind you <laughs> like some assuming- type of right. hawk or something because <laughs> they all like they all flushed into the trees yeah, I- <laughs> But that that Mississippi kite was awesome. That was a lifer. Uh, the white winged dove was a lifer. <laughs> a, a lifer. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> At least one. That's awesome. Yes, that was awesome. So thank you so much um, for joining us and sharing with us today. So much for having me. This was so much fun. Yes, we miss you. <laughs> miss you too. You the- all gotta come down. Y'all got to yes. come the yard. This is a lot of space. It, it looks like you have enough space for us to go camping back there as well. Yeah, and then the barred owls will come and say hi. Because we have a pair of barred oh. owls. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely have to take a trip down there. <laughs> well, thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Bye, everyone.